What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is NPET's MP02 SP RGB Gaming Mouse Pad. So in the box we had the gaming mat, which is so large that I actually couldn't get it all into the screen, but I will show you the ends of it as well. And we have a cable for use, which is just a USB to micro USB cable, so you can just plug it right into your laptop or computer. I actually got two of them because I really like having extra large gaming mats. Here's the other print, and I will just pull it along so you can get an idea of what it looks like throughout. You have the NPET logo at one end, and I just really like the designs on these as well as the overall make on them is very nice. So you might be wondering, what do I need such a large gaming mat for? Well, let me tell you something. These will come in super handy, and I will tell you why after I go over the specs. So this mat is 31.5 by 12 inches. It's made of micro textured cloth for speed and consistency when moving a mouse. Super glow fibers and non-slip rubber base as well as PU leather. It has 12 RGB lighting modes, nine of which are static and three are dynamic. It has a memory function so it remembers the last mode it was on. The cord for it is about six feet long. You can also change the brightness so you can match it with your other gaming products. You can even wash it in case you ever spill anything on top of it, uh, it is fade resistant as well. So the color modes, which I will go ahead and plug in to show you. Before I do that though, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this along so you can see the other end of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold it over like this so the whole thing can show up in frame pretty much. And I'm going to plug it in. And the place that you would plug it in is from up here. The micro USB port is right here, and then it just goes into your computer or laptop. So I want to make a quick note about the cord. So some places have said it's six feet, some don't. For me, it seems to be about three feet. So maybe I'm thinking what happened was that when they first were selling it, it was probably six feet, and the newer ones probably only have three feet. So that's something you might want to keep in mind if that is something you need is a longer cord. However, since it is a micro USB to USB, I would assume you can use pretty much any micro USB to USB cord. But anyways, let's get through the colors. So the first static mode that we have here, I believe is sign. Next we have up is yellow. Then we have white. Next up is pink. After that is orange. Then we have green. Then we have blue, then we have purple, and then we have red. So actually that won't be the exact order that yours is in. Uh, there are these uh, dynamic lighting modes which come right after orange. However, since mine had that memory saved starting at sign, we unfortunately had to skip around it. So now what I'm going to do is show you the breathing mode and the jump mode, which are the dynamic modes. So again, that is right after orange. So you can see the effect is a little slow. It might be a little hard to see because I couldn't get my room dark enough, but you should be able to tell enough that the light is switching between the different colors. And then here is the next one, which is a jump mode. As you can see, the color is jumping around two different colors. And then this is a slower jump mode from what I can tell, which might be a little bit easier on the eyes for some of you. Next up, I'm going to just put it on a static color and change the brightness. So if you double press it, it becomes dimmer. Double press it again and it becomes brighter. Again, my camera is trying to adjust for all the lighting in the room, so you probably couldn't tell as much, but it is actually very bright. The sidings are very bright, and the change in brightness is actually pretty pretty big. So it goes from a very lit up mode to a very, very dim mode, which is perfect if you're trying not to strain your eyes. So here it is back to the brightest, and remember that is changed by double pressing the light button. So now to go to the reasons why I love using extra large mats. 
mostly because it makes a huge difference during a game. It's so large that your mouse will always be on the mat during use and you can put your laptop on it as well. It also keeps your table or desk clean, which is a huge plus. Since I use mechanical keyboards and mice that have lots of lighting effects, plus I have an Alienware that also has a lot of lighting effects, the mat, the lights on the mat is just perfect. It fits and makes the entire package look complete. And I like this mat especially because it is so colorful. The design on it is a very nice design. So again, it's adding even more color overall just to the look of my gaming setup. That's it for this video. Link to this product is in the description below. If you found the video helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thanks for watching.